Every single standard Warframe can be purchased with Platinum or farmed for free through gameplay. Some are easy to acquire, while others are more harrowing. The question is then, which frame takes the longest to farm? I'm Nick Engineer, let's solve a practical problem. When it comes to estimating how long it takes to farm something, it's a bit of an understatement to say it gets complicated. Between variable run times and gear levels, different mission types, and something called the coupon collector problem, we'll need to draw a few lines to make this video possible. First, I'm only looking at the actual time to farm component blueprints. How long it takes you to get the resources for a particular blueprint, or get the requirements to access the farm such as completing quests, is simply too much to quantify. For the vast majority of cases, you'll achieve those extras on the road to everything else anyway. Second, I'm leaving out anything that's not RNG based. A handful of frames can be purchased from your clan's Tenno Lab, a couple from Syndicates, and a few can be acquired by just doing their related quest. Seeing as you don't so much grind for those as simply acquire them, they don't count. The time it takes to run Grendel's locator missions or get the standing to purchase Lavos blueprints is on the lower end of things anyway. Lastly, when I talk about mission times during this video, I'm basing it on how quickly I ran each relevant mission myself. If your mission times are slower, naturally your farm will take longer, but that won't be due to the farm itself. With improved gear and optimised play, you'll get faster. And if your mission time is faster than mine, congratulations, you got good. So, let's start with the very fastest of frames. Mag, Nyx, Loki, Ember, Valkyr, Mesa, Frost, Nova and Excalibur all share a few things in common. All of them are from assassination missions. All of them have the same drop rates. And all of them can be farmed in under 10 minutes. That is, a single run of their respective mission takes under 2 minutes, and over 50% of everyone will have a full set of components in just 5 runs. In fact, 20% of players will be done in just 3 runs. Now while 10 minutes is the median time, some people will just be less lucky. 5% of players will not have a full set for one of these assassination missions in 13 runs, and 1 in 1000 players will not have a full set in 28 runs. But even then, fewer in 1000 players would need to spend more than an hour on farming any of these frames, fewer in 10,000 players for most of them. These are very quick frames to acquire. Stepping up a bit in terms of farm time, we have Hydroid, Atlas, Rhino, Necros, Sarin and Chroma. Once again, all of these Warframes are farmed via assassination missions. Chroma is a bit different in that you don't farm his components directly, but rather other Warframe components to make his components. So a little bit of an exception, but otherwise functionally the same process. Due to either forced cutscenes like with the Jackal for Rhino or Jordas Golem for Atlas, or simply multi-stage fights like Kayla Detain for Sarin, these missions are longer than the first group. Still, the median farm time for this group is between 13 and 23 minutes. Most people with suitably high level gear can farm a full set for each in under half an hour. Less than 5% of players will need an hour for any given one of these frames. And at the worst end of this group, Chroma, fewer than 1 in 10,000 players would need more than 2.5 hours to complete the farm. Not only that, in Chroma's case, such a long series of runs would also mean getting most of the parts for three other Warframes in the process, speeding up their farms if it's not already been done. Considering most players are getting each of these frames in between 15 and 45 minutes, these are still plenty quick to farm. Now we're about halfway through the frames to farm, this next group are moderately lengthy farms with the potential to drag on for some people. Garuda, Gara, Wisp, Equinox and Trinity all have medium farm times between 30 to 60 minutes. Garuda and Gara are on the lower end, doable for most people in a little over half an hour from lower level Fortuna and Cetus bounties respectively. While the bounties themselves do take a chunk of time, and each piece drops from a wholly different bounty, the drop rates are very high, so precious few people would need to do a particular bounty more than a couple times to get any given piece. Wisp, Equinox and Trinity however come from assassination missions. Equinox is notorious for needing not 3 component blueprints, but 8, demanding a vastly higher run count than most other Warframes. While 1 in 4 people will have a full Equinox set in 16 or fewer runs, most people will need up to 20. 
with the unlucky 1% needing over 51 runs of the same tile regger assassination. Trinity, on the other hand, is not so brutal in drop rates, but rather in mission time. That mission took me just under 12 minutes to solo, one of the longest single farm missions in the game. Wisp then takes on traits from both of these, having a rather drawn out fight against a rope below list and requiring four total drops rather than three, as we need to get her main blueprint too. That little change adds a couple extra runs to anyone's expected farm time. For 95% of everyone, the two bounty frames can be earned in little over an hour, while the other three in this category can be done between one and a half and two and a half hours. Still, some people will naturally just be even unluckier, with one in a thousand people needing over three hours for Wisp or Equinox, or over five hours for Trinity. Still, I'm talking one in a thousand people per frame. You'd be winning the anti-lottery to have to farm even two of these for such a long time. Hildren, Revenant, Zaku and Gorse push the boat out just a little further in terms of farm time. Hildren demands a lengthy boss fight, a bit longer than with Trinity. To add insult to injury, Hildren also requires toroids, which only drop from that same boss fight, meaning that even if you get lucky enough to grab all three parts in under six runs, you still need to fight the boss again, unless you had a resource booster. Revenant and Zaku are both bounty frames, similar to Gara and Garuda, except they drop from higher level bounties from the Ostrons and the Intrati. The higher level bounties take longer mostly due to having more stages, forcing up the run times for the average player over that one hour mark. The drop rates are rather generous though, so few people should be too unlucky. Fewer than 1 in 20 people will need to go over 3 hours for Revenant or Zaku, though a very select few will still be pushing the 7 and 5 hour marks respectively. Gorse takes a little bit longer still, dropping from Rotation C in Disruption on Sedna. Fortunately, Disruption is one of the few game modes which gives frequent access to Rotation C rewards, starting from round 3 and every round thereafter if you play things right. Unfortunately, Gorse parts are not the only thing you can get from Rotation C, meaning you'll be picking up valuable relics along the way rather than being done sooner. Most people will get Gorse within one and a half hours, but one in 20 people will need more than four hours to do it, and one in a thousand will need over seven and a half hours. Now ahead of these frames, we're looking at some more serious farms, the type which make people complain on the forums endlessly about how RNG is unfair and the universe hates them. Ironically enough, RNG is fair because the universe is uncaring, but that's a totally different video. Sevagoth, Harrow, Ivara, Oberon, Octavia and Protea are close to the top for long frames to farm. With the exception of Sevagoth, a large part of this is that you cannot farm these frames all in one place. Instead, each component drops from a separate mission. Sevagoth instead has the Gorse treatment of coming from somewhat lengthy missions while competing with other rewards for those same reward slots. Considering both the drop rates and the variable mission times for the different sources, each of these frames will take up to two hours to farm for most people. With allies, you can potentially speed up some of these a little bit, speedrunning void storms, spy missions and granum voids, but absolutely nothing will help you do the survival mission for Octavia's Neuroptics any faster. More than 1 in 20 people will need over 4 hours for each of these frames and, I hate to say it, 1 in 1000 people will need 8 to 9 hours to complete a set for any given frame here. When you consider how many people play Warframe, it's no surprise there's some angry forum posts. And so we reach our top 3. The most devastating of all frames to farm, especially if the mission itself isn't your cup of tea. In third place we have Nidus. I'm guessing there are three types of people watching right now. Those learning how painful Nidus farming is, those agreeing how painful Nidus farming is, and those in disbelief that he's only in third place. But it's true. Nidus, farmed from the unique mission type Infested Salvage on Ostrus, will take the typical player up to two hours. That's up to 11 runs of four rounds each of this mission to get the number of sea rotation rewards needed. It's a long and painful grind. Less than 2% of players will be so lucky as to get this frame in the minimum 3 runs, while some 1 in 20 people will need over 27 runs, that's more than 5.5 hours of this mission. 1 in 1000 players will be stuck with over 10 hours farming, just counting mission time. Taking second place for farming time then, 
is Cora. Until somewhat recently, she was in first place, but is still a clear second. Cora has a complicated farming process mathematically, in that all her pieces are spread over one mission, Sanctuary Onslaught. One piece drops from Rotation A, while another piece is Rotation B, and then the final piece and her main blueprint share a drop table on Rotation C, rolled once every 8 rounds. Add on that the drop rates of all pieces are between 8 and 11% roughly, and that's a lot of rounds. How well you play the mission only ensures you can actually get to do a full 8 rounds, as absolutely nothing will make this mission faster. The medium farm time for a full Cora set comes out to around 5 hours. That's to say that after 5 hours of farming, there's around a 50-50 chance you still don't have the full set. About 5% of players will need over 38 runs of this mission, having failed to get a full set in the first 13 hours of trying. For 1 in 1,000 people, this will extend past the 76th run, an eye-watering 26 hours minimum of farm time, showered in affinity, relics, and failure. Which brings us to first place. The Warframe that takes the longest time to farm out of them all. It's Ash. With the release of Corpus Railjack, Ash parts were moved away from being Grenier Manic drops to being rewards on Rotation C of Corpus Railjack Defense. But not just moved, split across three tiers, meaning you need to farm each piece separately, including Veil Proxima defense missions. This mission is also on one of, if not the, slowest defense tile set in the game, taking me 30 minutes to do all 20 waves. Even if you are so lucky as to get all three pieces in one run each, that's one and a half hours, and you have only a 0.11% chance of that actually happening. The luckiest quarter of people will be done within eight and a half hours, while half of everyone will need over 13 hours to farm Ash. One in 20 people will still not have a full set, after doing 59 runs, meaning it's going to take them over 30 hours to get Ash, and with 1 in 1000 people needing over 54 hours. The kicker? There's not much you can do to speed this up. With a full team hyper dedicated, you can of course do the mission a little bit faster, but the very nature of spread spawns over a sprawling map, drip fed waves, and having to hold out for a full 20 waves means there's pretty harsh lower bound on how long this will take. To give you some perspective on this farm, the medium farming time I said for Ash is 13 hours. In that same amount of mission time, you can farm Mag, Nyx, Loki, Ember, Valkyr, Mesa, Frost, Nova, Excalibur, Hydroid, Atlas, Rhino, Necros, Sarin, Chroma, Garuda, Gara, Wisp, Equinox, Trinity, Hildren, Revenant, Zaku, and Gorse, and still have over an hour left to go crack relics for the Platinum to buy Ash outright, because that method is genuinely faster than farming Ash normally. If by some stroke of luck, someone at DE happens to be watching and agrees this is too long of a farm for a single Warframe, please make a change to this. Specifically, move the Ash Parts to Rotation A instead of the Relics on those missions. That would give each Ash Part a 20% drop chance on Waves 5 and 10. This change would see over half of everyone get Ash in under 2 hours, with most people taking between 1 and 2 hours, while roughly 1 in 20 players would still take over 4 hours, and 1 in 1000 needing over 7 hours. This would still be in the higher tiers of farming time, comparable to Gorse, but it will also be 7 times faster than what currently exists. When a farm can be made 7 times faster and still be one of the longest, it's probably too long. So there you have it folks, the answer to the question of which frame takes the longest to farm, and a handy guide on how lucky or unlucky you may have been with your other farms. If you have found this video interesting, you know what to do, hit those like and subscribe buttons. But that's all from me, so as always, farm missions, get parts, and fight well, Tenno.